All right, so my name is Jaron McMahon. Um, I'm in the show Fridgeworthy, and we're showing with six other artists. Um, I have seven pieces in the show. Yeah, I would say that I don't carry like a real big theme um, with all my work. It's not like I go in with a certain intention of this is what my body of work does. Um, that being said, I think that I do tend to follow this like kind of satirical or lashback to society or humanity. Yeah, this is, I actually um, had a much larger portfolio with a lot more pieces to pick from at one point and about a year ago I actually destroyed the whole thing. So started from scratch, um, pretty much every piece in here has been made in class at this point um, besides one. So, so I had uh, an instance where I was going to um, be able to apprentice for a position that I'm really working towards in my life um, as a career. Uh, basically, it just ended up that I wasn't going to be able to do the apprenticeship, really mostly because of school. Kind of had a little upset and a little uh, freak out and just scrapped everything, started all over. So, you know, at first I took it as a setback because there was like a week or two where I was like, I'm, I'm done with art now, I'm not doing it. This is the, like, that was my chance and I missed it. I, so for a while I took it as a setback once I did actually start painting and drawing and stuff again. Um, but, you know, I, since then I've reflected on it and I really think that it was a, a, a place of growth that it made me work harder and it made me uh, pump out more art and I've been working faster and so work at it. I mean, I, I think that the biggest downfall that I see um, with myself as well as like all of the other artists that I know, all my friends and everything, um, is just that, for example, we'll be in school, we'll work really hard, and then we go home and we're like, oh, well, I don't want to do like the homework assignment or I don't want to do the at-home stuff. Um, when in reality, you're going to make your most growth by just putting the work into it, putting the effort, um, taking the time to do the homework assignment or you know, work on your personal stuff outside of class or work on your personal stuff in class, be able to incorporate that. Um, so just always pushing, you know what I mean? Um, I don't think that I have a preference piece. Um, in fact, I think that for the most part, I tend to make my art and once it's done, it disappears from my mind. Um, so even going back through this last year and deciding what's gonna go in the gallery, half the stuff was hung up at home just as space filler. And even then I was like, oh, I didn't even remember that piece and I see it every day and I guess I'll put that in the show. Um, so <laughs> really as I make my art, it disappears to me and it's gone forever. Mm. Personally, I, I would say don't try to be making new work as it's going in. Um, it seems like a lot of people really got rushed with some deadlines. Uh, and then frame early, really just think ahead. I mean, if, if you're going to be doing a show, if you're going to be putting up a show, um, don't try to just like come in with everything mostly ready to go and get it done. You'll end up being here way later than you mean to. Mm -hmm. I think I ended up spending like six hours here, seven hours here, so yeah. Fun fact, um, I'm Buddhist by nature. I think that usually throws people through a little loop. It's not what you'd expect by my face or whatever. Um, I don't have another exhibition coming up. I do have a Instagram, it's Gentle Jerem. Uh, G-E-N-T-L-E-J-A-R-O-M um, and I think that's the only place that I'm really showing any work right now.